Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout episode 17 and where we last left off we were going to talk to the very beautiful woman with a sad look in her eyes. Uh, assuming Dogmeat will get out of the way. Come on Dogmeat. Get out of the way. Oh, I guess that explains why he doesn't put on a whole lot of weight. It's got aspartame in it. Can I help you? Are you the leader of this gang? Gang? Or hardly a gang. But I am the one they all come to for direction. Zimmerman sent me. What did he... To pay you back for killing his son. What? Those fucking piece of shit bastards. I'll kill them. I'll send them all to hell. Uh, who are you going to send to hell? The Regulators. They were the ones that killed Josh. I never would do anything to hurt Josh. It's the Regulators who are running at each other, not Zimmerman. Why would the Regulators kill Zimmerman's son? Josh lived here with me. And I, I, I mean us. He knew the truth behind what was going on. The Regulators told him if he ever tried to contact his father or return to Addytum, that they would kill him. They laughed at him. They were so sure he couldn't get to his father. They killed him? What did he do? Late one night, he tried to sneak into town to tell his father what was really going on. I was monitoring the Regulators' radio transmissions the night that they... He got caught. She looks down, shakes her head slowly. Here, it's all on this holodisc. Why haven't you given this to Josh's father? It's not like any of us can even get close to Addison. We'd be shot dead before we even reached the gate. Why don't I give him the disc? You'd risk your life to help us? Sure, anything to help. I'm not sure it would help without the threat of violence to back it up. What we really need are some weapons from the gunrunners. Uh, where are the gunrunners? Why don't you get some weapons from them? They're a little to the east of here, but there's a death claw nest between us and them. We've never even spoken with any of the gunrunners. Okay, give me the holodisc and I'll go talk to the gunrunners before I approach Zimmerman. Thank you. This could really help us. Good luck. She hands you the holodisc. So, let's add this holodisc to our little repository. Uh, yeah, there it is. You gain 100 experience points. Let's see if we can actually read that. Uh, where is it? Regulator transmission. Message sent. Regulator patrol to Regulator base. Come in. Do you copy? Over. This is Regulator base. Principal Regulator Caleb responding. Report. Over. Sir, yes sir. Regulator second class. Cravata reporting. We're apprehending the Zimmerman boy trying to infiltrate our perimeter again, sir. Orders. Over. Shit. Again? That's the last time that's gonna happen. Eliminate him. Make it look like the Blades did it. Understand? Over. Sir? Uh... Did I copy correctly? Sir? Kill him? Over? That's affirmative, regulators. That's affirmative, regulator, and I want it messy. Impale him on the guard post out front. Oh, and cut out his tongue so he can't talk while we attempt to save his sorry ass. Over. It shall be done, sir. Over. In transmission. Good lord. So we definitely want to tell Zimmerman about that. But first, we need to get them some guns. From the gun runners. Which they said was over to the east. Aha, right here. Also, the gun runners probably have the best weapons in the game. So let's save it real quick and go check that out. So this is the Deathclaw area. And there's a Deathclaw. We're going to strike before he gets a chance to strike us. Yeah. Deathclaws are tough. He still has 225 hit points. Oh, be careful, dog meat. That's, uh, that guy's big. Why is everybody getting closer to him? Oh, good job, Tandy. Oh, there's another one. 
Definitely want to focus fire on this guy. Get him, dog meat. And everyone else. So how much damage did they do? 60-ish. Oh, crud. I actually want him to attack me because with the power armor, I can definitely take the most damage. Yeah, see? Three hit points. No damage. Stop shooting Tycho! Come on. Yes, we got him. Hopefully by dealing the most damage to him, I can really draw his fire. Oh good, Tandy will at least stop shooting Tycho. And we're out of ammo again. Yes, good, come, fight me. Yeah, so a lot of the weapons, as you can see, don't deal a whole lot of damage to Death Claws. That's one of the reasons I like this gun so much, is it doesn't cost very much to use, it's got pretty good damage output, and it's got very common ammo. Ooh! Knock me on down. So that's going to hurt my action points next turn. Careful. Yeah. You hit the death claw for 1 and dog meat for 21. So he's still okay for now. And yeah. Let's get back in there. Because most of the time the death claw is not going to be able to do very much damage to us. Awesome. Great job, Tycho. Tycho's probably the most useful follower. Yeah, 2,000 XP for killing those Death Claws. Whew. I wonder if there's stuff actually in these. Anything in the desk? Shotgun shells? And some booze. Sure. Why not? And nothing in the bookcase. The remains of Merchant. We got some junk. So I don't know how you're supposed to know this. Maybe I missed the dialogue option. Maybe I just didn't see it. But that is what we need to repair the hydroponic farm for Miles. So how hurt are you now, dog meat? Woof. 29 out of 50. So the way you heal your party members in this, which isn't something you really need to do until later, is actually use stem packs on. Especially dog meat. I feel like the other guys can use stem packs on their own, but... I'm not 100% on that, because usually they just don't take that much damage, they don't die, and then they heal in between. Ooh. A dead body. It looks as if this person died very painfully. Yeah, I, I buy that. Uh, but they mostly just heal as you travel. So who is this? A guard. What's your business here? I want to buy some weapons. Ooh, actually. I always thought this was strange. You smell like a Brahma, but I bet you're not as intelligent. As far as I knew, they were always called Brahmin. Maybe that's the female of Brahmin? But as far as I know, they never say. 
I need to speak to your boss. It's very important. Oh, okay. Gabriel will talk to you. Go on in. I always loved this part of the game. I thought this was such a cool area, like surrounded by this weird toxic moat. But yeah, these are the gun runners. The sign is labeled gun runners. What do you know? Ow. Yeah, whenever you switch your weapons or click reload or something while you're making another move, it all messes up. A large, well-armed man. Typical gun runner. Typical gun runner. Typical gun runner. What do you know? All these gun runners. Pretty typical. And a gun runner. What is this? Machinery. Old printing press or manufacturing doohickey. <laughs> so let's talk to this guy. A large, well-armed man. It's not often that we get visitors. How can I help you? Why don't you get many visitors? This place isn't very accessible with a nest of those damn death claws right outside our factory. Uh, you guys seem fairly well-armed. Why don't you go exterminate them? We've gone over there and taken out a few, but they always seem to come back. Besides, we're machinists, not fighters. What would you give me if I went in there and took care of them for you? If you get rid of the death claws once and for all, you could name your price. I have some friends who can really use some of your weapons. You clear out the death claws, all of them, and you got yourself a deal. Okay, I'll do it. It's been going okay. Let us know when you've taken care of the death claws. Hi, I'm Zach. You want to buy weapons? Let me see what you have to trade. Can you give me a discount? Sure. So that's one of the things you get a discount based on your... I think it's your barter skill. Although, it could also be your speech skill. Not 100% sure. Great. Show me what you got. So this is where I think you can... Where you can buy the best weapons in the game. And tons of ammo. This is something we absolutely want. A plasma rifle. It uses microfusion cells. We're just going to buy one. There's also a flamer. A minigun. Plasma pistol. Pulse grenades. Microfusion cells. How much is just one of those? Not that much. Let's see how much it is for all of them. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But we have a lot of money. Got a cattle prod, a power fist, combat shotguns, combat knives, 10 millimeter pistols, 10 millimeter SMG, combat armor, rippers, and cash. Luckily, that's a lot of money, but well, let's get rid of those three. I don't need that. But we have a lot of money. And that's probably the most we'll ever really spend. And we'll just keep uh, adding $999. Seems like a pretty big oversight on the developer's part to only let you move $999 at a time, but not a huge deal. Uh, so is that about 700 bucks left? 7723, 7675. That works for me instead of trying to figure out how to do the math. So that is going to be our secondary weapon. Depending on what we need to pack the best punch with. So for death claws and things like that, you really want to use that weapon. It also has a really low um, action point usage, but it deals more damage. The drawback is the ammo is harder to come by and significantly more expensive. But it should be set for probably the rest of the game as far as ammo is concerned. Uh, who's got my ammo right now anyways? Tanny, you got some of my ammo? Nope. You do have those two bugged out red scorpion tails though. Uh, I think Ian's got some of my ammo. What about Tycho? 
Oh, some more. Oh man, I hope that didn't bug out. I don't think we're actually at our maximum weight capacity though. We're carrying 287 pounds. Carry weight's 275 pounds. So yeah, we are actually all full up. Which is interesting that it let us carry all of this. I'm trying to think what we can drop. We don't really need Rad X or Rad Away. Especially now, because we have the power armor. And the power armor actually helps with radiation. That probably... Yeah, that's, that's a good bit of our weight. 25 pounds there. Let's go ahead and give Tycho these shotgun rounds. And we can probably at least pick back up the microfusion cells. But we have 500. I don't know that we really need to could probably stand to give him some of those actually and cut down on our weight. Well, that depends on how many he can hold. That many. Alright, so Tycho's full. <laughs> so now, we need to take out the Death Claws. But it looked like we already did. You know, we killed both of them. But he was saying that they come back. What's our energy weapons at? 33%? So yeah, we're going to have a harder time hitting with this gun, but that's okay. So there's the two dead death claws. So what we need to do is one of the tougher fights in the game. We need to go fight Mama Deathclaw. And one of the great things about it great is being used sarcastically, of course, is that you can't really see her that well because there are no light sources in here. So yeah, negative 1% chance to hit. But again, that's the gun we're not good with. 19% chance to hit. There's really not a whole lot of point in shooting at her until she gets closer. That's why one of the, one of the good perks to get is night vision. Because it, I don't know if it completely eradicates the darkness penalty, but it definitely helps. Once she gets closer, though, we'll be able to. Ah, oh, stop shooting Tycho. Ooh, be careful, Ian. So, Mother Deathclaw. She has 290 out of 320 hit points. It's a lot. A lot, a lot. Let's see what kind of damage this baby does. Not that much. Well, I mean, it did fine damage. We just couldn't really hit with it. But that's why we need to start working on our energy weapons and getting them better. Because we're getting towards the end of the game. And as we get closer to the end of the game, things start getting tougher and tougher and tougher. Now, the Mother Death Claw is one of... Stop shooting, Tycho! Sorry. The Mother Death Claw is one of the toughest enemies in the game. And this is why I wanted power armor before we came here. Even in the Brotherhood armor, like the, um, not the power armor, obviously, but the upgraded Brotherhood combat armor, I think it's called? Even with that equipped, you still take pretty good damage here. So we need to use some stim packs. I don't know what that was. I think it was for dropping it, which I definitely don't want to do. And that's probably plenty. Let's see what damage we can do with our regular firearm. So you also want to be careful when people are huddled up like this, because sometimes 
the game will glitch out. Like if I were to click right here, you can see that Ian is highlighted behind the Mother Death Claw. If I were to click right here, where it's technically on both of them, sometimes it would glitch out and shoot Ian instead. Ian's not nearly as tough as the Mother Death Claw, so we want to make sure we don't do that. Oof. Good thing I healed. Yeah, 17. She hits hard. Because remember, we're in mm, arguably the best armor in the game. There's one set of armor that's a little better. Get him, dog me. Uh, so we've got 95% chance to hit with this. Let's see what we can do with our bigger, badder gun. I'll take 89. 21. 12. 17. Ooh. Gotta get up and start manhandling me again. It's really not good when they knock you down and you stay down because it messes up your action points for the following turn. Ian, hit dog meat and Tycho? What's Tycho's health? 10. about Mother Death Claw. 68. Hmm. We're gonna play this a little risky. I'm hoping we can take her out before Tycho is really messed up. Cause yeah, 13. I'm hoping they can take him out and not accidentally kill Tycho. Because when your characters die in this game, they are dead. Ah, Tycho uses stim back. Very good. And he punched because he didn't have enough action points left to shoot his gun. And you shot dog me. Oh, do we get to land the killing blow? Yep. Oh god. <laughs> Four. I was way too close. Oh, and we killed the Mother Death Claw. 1,500 experience points for killing that one. But yeah, she's incredibly tough. And one of the big things is you have to make sure that you kill these eggs, too. Otherwise, it doesn't count. I should have just ended combat. Now they're just gonna, like, walk around. Oh! Good job, dog me! Okay. So those were the only four. Now we should be good to go. Dog meat is... has four out of fifty hit points. So, I'm not even going to play around. I'm just going to get him with a super stim. The super stim pack heals a lot of hit points, but then later you take a little bit of damage for it. Tycho. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. Let's make sure he's got plenty of stim packs. I want to make sure my guys have at least 10 stim packs apiece. Just because you never know how things are going to go. And I want them to be able to heal themselves in situations like that. The only problem is... Candy? Okay. Sorry, I don't know why she had so many. There's no space left for that item. One? No? Okay. I guess... 15. Alright. So we're gonna have to take some of your ammo. <laughs> or not. Oh, weight management can get difficult in this game, folks. And Ian's got tons of ammo for us. Yep, can't carry that. I thought he would use the laser pistol, but I guess not. Let's, uh... Actually, I want to try something. This is not something I do a whole lot. 
It's the 30th of May. Let's rest until we are healed. Okay, we've been resting for a full day. Two days. Approximately. Okay, so it took about three days for us to heal almost everything. Did that heal Tycho? Yes! Good, so they heal too. Cool. So, this is a good place to farm experience if you're interested in farming experience, because if you leave and come back every few days, there are more death claws. Oh yeah, and you have to talk to this guy every single time to get back across the bridge. <laughs> yep, let me through. He remembers me. Let's save it real quick, because I don't remember exactly what we're supposed to do here, so I just want to make sure that I don't mess it up. You what? You killed them all? Thank the gods, now we can move to where we can get our own materials and not have to rely on those snakes in Addington. You name it, you got it, my friend. I have some friends who can really use some of your weapons. You got it. Let your friends know they got their weapons. Thank you. And we leveled up! There's no reason to leave now that your friends have gotten rid of those damn regulators. Uh, what? Hang on. I don't know what happened there. So we're gonna make, uh, another backup save. Go through that dialogue again. Yeah. What happens if we say we want weapons and ammunition? And we've leveled up again. We are level 10 now? Yep, level 10. All into energy weapons, so we can be better with that gun. Okay. What was he saying about there's no reason to leave now that the regulators were taken care of? I need you to get out of the way, friend. May not have wanted to do that yet. But we'll see. I want to go talk to Zimmerman and show him what the regulators did. I hope they can make peace. Peace is the best option, typically. I don't know why it's not letting me leave. So let's go back and talk to her. I'm just out of curiosity. We have 45,000 experience and we need 55,000 experience to get to level 11. Thank you for all your help. We're going to invade Addington. We could use someone like you on our side. I'd like to talk to Zimmerman first. I don't think that's a good idea, but you're welcome to try. I want to at least try. Before we do, though, I want to see what's this way. In the heart of the city, a great library, fortified and restored, rises with forbidden yet graceful presence. You feel a sense of peace. Okay. All these people are wearing leather armor. Katja. She's got a name. 
You're not from around here. Who are you? The name's Kerwin. And what, may I ask, are you doing in the Boneyards? I'm just an explorer. Just a traveler. I've heard that one before. Nobody comes to the Boneyard except those hub merchants and people looking for a quick death at the hands of the gangs. What are you really here for? Well, we've already found the water purification ship, but let's go with that one anyways. A water purification ship? Sorry, don't know anything about that. Don't see much of that kind of tech here in the Boneyard, except maybe the stuff Miles works on. Can you tell me anything more about the Boneyards, then? What can you tell me about the Blades? I've dealt with them before. They're not too bad, as far as gangs go. They have a hideout in an old club with some outposts. If you're careful, you might even be able to get some of them to talk. What about the Gunrunners? Used to be a real gang, but they went soft. They started setting up a deal where they trade weapons that they get from their victims or buy from the hub. Since nobody here is set up for a trip to the hub, personally, they do pretty good business. Even though their prices are high. Yeah, they are a little high. What about the followers? Followers of the Apocalypse are a group of peace preachers who live in a large library near the heart of the Boneyard. Wait, so where we are now? Why they haven't been wiped out yet, I can't say. They're lousy combatants and have no understanding of the real world. But other than that, they're polite and well-educated. Okay. What can you tell me about Addington? It's my original home. A little too boring for me, though. It's a fenced-off, self-sufficient town in the south end of the Boneyard. But not as far as the Cathedral. We trade sometimes with the Hub. What do you know about the area around the city? Boneyard's a pretty hostile place. I never had the opportunity to leave, though I suppose I'd take it. Let's see. Just south of here, you have the Cathedral. Some sort of cult there. I stay away from them. Something sinister's going on there. Also, I've heard about the trading center called The Hub. Caravans occasionally show up, but I've never been there. I don't plan to stay in this place too much longer myself. You no kidding? If you're looking for another hand, I'll sign on. But I'm spending the rest of my existence in this hellhole, right? You're a welcome addition, but the desert's not much more fun. Alright, looks like we've got a little ass kicking to do. And that is Katya. Katya is now our uh, fifth? Fifth or sixth and final party member. Let's see what she's got. Some throwing knives and some stim packs. Let's go ahead and give her nine extra stim packs. And that's for you. What kind of combat skills do you have? Learned how to be a scrapper from my time in the boneyard. Good with knives and submachine guns. My favorite's throwing knives, of course. Well, that's going to be useless, so... Stay tuned. And so, we have Katya. So, the total number of party members you can get in this game are... Ian, Dogmeat, Tycho, Tandy, and Katja. So yeah, there are five party members. And she... Yeah, Tandy's the partial party member. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I was doing like a mental checklist to make sure I didn't miss anything. So, on that note, we're going to call this an episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I highly appreciate it, as always. And I hope you'll come back, and I'll see you next time. Bye.